All right, part two, mobile chicken coop build. Let's get into it. intermission if you haven't heard in the audio yet we've got some guests working with us today so if you look in here our geese and our chickens came the portable brooders working excellent i had them out in the grass yesterday the heater's working well the water is working well the catch pan's working well everyone's happy so Puts us a little bit under the gun to get this uh, chicken coop built, but we'll keep plugging away at it.
All right, so we're going to call it for today. Um, I just got to the point of putting the wheels on, and I don't really like um, how it's done. Justin made the plans, you know, to source it, you know, for to make it easy for everyone to source when doing it, so it's nothing against him. Um, but what I don't like is the threaded rod is a loose fit in the wheels and um, the hangers. So I'm actually going to get a solid three-quarter um, round bar to stretch the entire way and get a better fit in the wheels and actually utilize the ball bearings in the wheels. Um, so I'll get that ordered. I'll order it off a of McMaster car or something because I don't think tractor supply will have long enough length. And I'll actually weld on some washers to hold the wheels in place. Um, and then probably use some like cotter pins on the end or something with a washer to take up that distance. But um, we're going pretty good. I still need to staple the bottom side of this wire together. I gotta get some um, plastic roofing to do the sides and still build the roof. Um, but I think one more day of working on this and we'll be able to uh, get her all finished up. So we'll see you on the next one. See ya.